Hey guys, it is Julie here with JT Wealth. In today's video, we are gonna take a look at a few solar and renewable energy stocks. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you so much for being here. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. If you're lucky enough to have today off, I hope you are enjoying your long weekend. In today's video, we are taking a look at three different renewable energy and solar companies. Now, renewable energy has been booming and growing really quickly over this last decade. And there has been additional fuel added to that fire with the news of this new administration set to take over this week. Now, it is actually corporate America that has been the biggest driver of solar installations over this last decade, and that trend is expected to continue. And it isn't just good PR that these big corporations are getting from switching to renewable energy, as they are also massively benefiting from a lower energy cost. On top of that, solar energy storage is now becoming more viable and financially affordable for the basic homeowner. So this is making it much easier for the average person to make the switch over to solar energy. So the three solar and renewable energy companies that we're gonna take a closer look at today include Brookfield Renewable, First Solar, and Philips 66. Just before we get into all of those, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to check out some of the great links we have in the description down below. Right now, Webull is giving away four free stocks for signing up and funding a new investment account, so make sure to check them out. All right, now the first company we're gonna take a closer look at today is Brookfield Renewable Partners. They trade under the ticker BEP and are currently at $45.04 per share. And this company does also pay a dividend and has a current yield of 2.57%. Brookfield Renewable Partners operates one of the world's largest publicly traded renewable power platforms. Its portfolio consists of approximately 19,400 megawatts of capacity and 5,318 generating facilities in North America, South America, Europe, and Asia. Its investment objective is to deliver long-term annualized total returns of 12 to 15%, including annual distribution increases of 5 to 9% from organic cash flow growth and project development. It has an established track record of creating value by prudently acquiring, building, and financing assets, and actively managing its operations. The company is a global leader in hydroelectric power, which comprises approximately 64% of its portfolio. It is also an experienced global owner and operator of, and investor in, wind, solar, distributed generation, and storage facilities. As far as solar power goes, they say that it is one of the fastest growing sources of renewable energy, and utility-scale solar offers high cash margins and diverse and scalable applications. Now, in 2017, they acquired a 51% interest in Terraform Power, a publicly traded renewable power company with a large-scale and diversified portfolio contracted wind, solar, and distributed generation located predominantly in the United States. In 2020, they acquired the remaining interest in Terraform Power that they and their affiliates did not already own, and they privatized the company. They say its high-quality assets have a long, useful life remaining, and its cash flows are underpinned by long-term contracts with credit-worthy off-takers. Now, when we look at the tip ranks for Brookfield Renewable, we do have a bit of a mixed review on this stock. And it does come in as a hold with two buys, eight hold ratings, and one sell. And the average price target is just about $40, which would actually be about a 10% downside. However, most of those analyst ratings are at least a couple months old. The most recent ones came in this last week and are both holds, but have between a 13 to 22% potential upside. So for the Brookfield Renewable stock, I'll be very interested to see if in the next month or so, we have some analysts come and update their price targets. Next up, we have First Solar. They trade under the ticker FSLR and are currently at $96.58 per share. First Solar is a global leader in developing solar energy solutions. It not only manufactures and sells solar modules, but also designs, constructs, and sells solar power systems and provides operations and maintenance services. 
One thing that sets First Solar apart from other solar panel makers is its focus on manufacturing a proprietary advanced thin film module. In less than ideal conditions like low light and warm weather, these panels perform better than competing ones made with silicone. They're also larger in size, which helps reduce the cost per watt. Those factors make them ideal for utility scale solar energy projects. First Solar further sets itself apart from its peers in the solar sector by having one of the strongest balance sheets. It routinely has more cash than debt, which gives it the financial flexibility to continue executing its strategy to build these thin film solar modules for utility scale customers. So these factors put First Solar in an excellent position to thrive as the solar industry continues expanding. With that being said, First Solar is another one that analysts seem to have differing opinions on. As the stock comes in as a hold, with four buy ratings, six holds, and five sells, the average price target is just shy of $94, which would be just about a 3% potential downside. Taking a look at our detailed list of analyst forecasts from TipRank's Premium, our most recent ratings are holds. One has almost a 10% potential upside, and the other a negative of a couple percent. We do have a sell rating from Goldman Sachs with a price target of $81, but we also have a buy rating from JMP Securities five-star analyst Joseph Asha. Now his price target is $135, which would be nearly a 40% potential upside over the next year. Now the third stock is actually one that all of the analysts seem to agree upon, and that is Philips 66. They trade under the ticker PSX and are currently at $71.74 per share, and they also pay a dividend with a yield of over 5%. Philips 66 is a refining powerhouse with some of the most advanced refineries on earth, and that sets it up for a great 2021 as energy demand returns to normal after the pandemic and it leverages its technical capabilities to earn above average margins. But looking beyond oil, Philips 66 is one of the first refiners to prioritize renewable fuels from its refineries, using human-derived waste products as feedstock for diesel. The environmental benefits of this application are notable, consuming products that would normally enter the waste stream and converting them to low carbon fuels that work in existing vehicles. This new organization dedicated to lower carbon opportunities will capitalize on technology and innovation resources while leveraging existing businesses for emerging energy growth. It'll be built upon strong industry reputation and maintain emphasis on returns. They are working on renewable diesel in the UK and the US West Coast, solar energy projects at Rodeo and Ponca City, and green hydrogen and fueling stations over in Europe. And as I mentioned, the analysts actually agree on this one, as the Philips 66 stock comes in as a strong buy, with 11 buy ratings. Now the average price target is about $72.36, which is just shy of a 1% potential upside but I think that's because some of those price targets are two to three months old. So those targets are showing a negative potential return right now, but all of the most recent ones within the last month have positive potential ranging between five to 14%. Plus that 5% dividend yield is a nice little bonus as well. So there we have three different companies related to solar energy and renewable energy. Now, of course, I know there are a lot of different companies out there with focuses on this lately. So please make sure to leave your thoughts down below in the comments on these three companies, but what other renewable energy companies are catching your eye lately. Keep in mind that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock and are just meant for information and entertainment purposes and to bring some new companies to your attention. Any investment decision needs to be made based on your own research and due diligence. If you made it all the way to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and cheers.